everybody, let's sew our first rag quilt. Now this is not gonna be based off of any particular pattern. This is going to be off of my Google skills, little kind of just winging it, and YouTube. So traditionally, rag quilts are made with flannel. That's what gives you that really beautiful like fray. But I'm in Texas and it's super hot. So what I'm gonna try is I'm gonna have the top of the quilt be cotton and the back be cotton, but in place of the batting, I'm gonna use flannel just so it could still kind of give me a nice fray at our kind of raw edge, raw seams, I meant to say. Since my husband's gonna be sewing his first rag quilt with me, we did two different options with the fabric. So for mine, for the top, I am grabbing a pre-cut layer cake, and this is gonna give me 42 squares for the top. For the middle, I picked out a corresponding flannel, and then this one is three yards, and I went ahead and, no, three and a half, sorry. And then I also got for my back, I didn't want to have to worry about patterns and making sure they're matching up. So what I'm for both sides. So for the back, for both quilts, I went for a nice generic print just so I don't have to overstress the layout of the back side. So three and a half for the back, three and a half for the middle flannel, and a layer cake for the top for my rag quilt. And for my husband's, we are going to have to do a lot of cutting. We did three and a half of a generic backing. We did three and a half of a corresponding flannel and didn't get him a pre-cut. So what we did is got four one yard cuts of corresponding fabric that we picked out. So let's get cutting. We are gonna be doing 10 inch squares. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> now that your cutting is all done, you should have 42 of your flannel for your middle, 42 squares of your whatever backing you're wanting to use, and 42 of your front of your rag quilt. Now again, I'm doing 10 inch squares. You can do a large variety of whatever size of squares you want and whatever size of blanket you want. But in case you're curious on my sizing, that's what we're doing. Stay tuned for part two.